What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. As you see, Hamilton's truck's here in the shop. He's got some AC issues, so it's hot, hot, hot. Maybe he'll have some hot deals. You guys, come on. She usually feels good in here, but it don't today. It's hot today. Hot. AC issues. You may be having a reverse sale. <laughs> Instead of normally this is three ninety nine today, it's four fifty. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay for repairs. That's it. Oh, yeah. As man. everybody said, we got the cover off the AC unit. Yeah. We've been crawling from one end of this sucker to the next, trying to find a dang leak. Do you ever wonder where? Rear air conditioner it looks like on the snap on truck. Yeah, there you that's go. it. That's what she looks like. He thought he had an orifice tube leaking and uh, or it, dirty, and it was dirty. It was, like, bad. it was bad, dirty. Somebody ain't been doing their maintenance on their system either. His filter looked like it was uh, been drugged through the mud, <laughs> but um. Changed the orifice tube and pulled a vacuum. It didn't pull down where it's supposed to, and and it didn't even shot the pressure to her, and she leaking. Yeah, it didn't even uh, pull down about ten pound, and then it uh, went to zero in less than a minute after it, on the whole time. So now it's the hunting hunting game. We thought we found it a while ago, but we got the other people over here running the excavator out here, so they got all noise going on like crazy. We couldn't hear the leak. Yep. I told them we were just go get a case of beer and drink that beer. And the time we get through with it, the problem will be solved. They'll be done working, yeah. and uh, we'll figure out where the leak is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could just get them to pick it up with an excavator. A bit like the walk, under walk under under it. It. Yeah. And the big excavators they got out there, they can do it. I'm sure. Absolutely. Why are they picking them trees up out there? <laughs> Shouldn't be no problem picking this truck up. <laughs> it may not look the same now because they <laughs> they not very ginger. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he might set it back down while you set them trees down, yeah, throwing them up 30 chunky, foot over. Yep. Be like, the snap on tool sale in the parking lot. <laughs> Truck be up on the side and everything. Call your insurance company and be like, I don't know what that fella with that, that excavator had. He pissed off all about something. I don't know. I just told him the shit was back ordered. <laughs> Nothing Nation I can do about it. Yeah, nationally back ordered. Well, what all cool new stuff you got? You got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we've got some stuff coming in, just some cordless tools, uh, screwdriver sets, a bunch of more caps, drills. Got bunch some, of stuff, huh? Yeah. All right. Brake caliper press. Yep, them are nice. These right are there. nice. Fabulous. I haven't never, this is the smaller one, I haven't ever used this one. I got the bigger blue point one. Yeah. That's the one I use. Yeah, that's one I like it pretty good. Handy, handy, handy. Of course, we got more brushes tools in. Brushes, ratchets. Yeah. How much is them on sale for today? You want just a dry body or one with a battery? Well, I need a battery too. I kind of like the way they did that trigger. It's sort of got a curve to it now yep. instead of just a. Uh, the button style. Is that being flat? See the difference. It's sort of round and it's straight here. Yeah, then more like a bubble. Got a, got a little groove to it. It's pretty nice. The gun and battery is normally four fifty nine. I got it for three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. So sixty dollars off. All right. Well, what other deals you got? We got deals and everything right now. We got to make money, pay for air conditioner leak. <laughs> So the screwdriver said I passed on it last week because I wanted to think on it. I don't remember how much he told me on it, but it's only got three screwdrivers in it. Yeah, the rest, rest of, of it's bars. I think it's 200 it. marked down to 180, and we go 170 on it this week. 
I need to get that bad boy going. So 170 on that, and what did you say, 390? On That'd that? be, or 400. They're normally 460 and they're 60 off, 459 to 399. So it'd be 570 for both of them. Yep. If you're doing both, Damn. we're doing both for 550. 525. Let's do it. Okay. Y'all say how easy yep. that is? Everybody wants to talk about how they're a snap on guy. They can't deal with him. Like y'all just saying it, it wasn't sketched or rehearsed or nothing. <laughs> they're different. And why a lot of them probably get mad, they probably don't pay their snap on guy like you pay me. They don't realize how much money you pay every week. <laughs> Yeah, I had you paid off, and then yeah. like a crackhead, just a literally, I'm talking about one of them strung out, sell my mama's gold chain, <laughs> crackheads. So what y'all do, like with, what I did to Clay, he paid off, and come back one week, he ain't buy nothing, I said, well, I can get him next week. I just come through the parking lot, drive real slow, and he like waved out the window at me, and I could turn around and kept on going back. <laughs> next week, come back, did the same thing, just drive real slow through the parking lot and leave. Come back third week, so he buying stuff left and right again. That was right. the two weeks that yeah. we didn't shoot a video. Y'all thought Hamilton was at the Snap On show. He was just yeah. riding around teasing everybody. Yeah, that just two weeks. Pulling through the parking lot, wave at them while they wave Come out through, the throwing beer cans out. <laughs> everybody get beer cans and way. burritos, burrito wrappers. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even give you a burrito. Man, I'm proud to say you got a bunch of tools. Me too. Back in. I need them blue handle screwdrivers about like I need a headache, <laughs> but I want them. So there was a guy sent me a message on Instagram and he was like, hey man, how would you handle this situation? I moved from Texas, I think it was Texas to Florida, I believe right. He said I had a whole bunch of snap-on tools that I bought from my dealer in Texas, moved to Florida call the new snap-on guy and he don't want to come by the shop and then he don't want to warranty anything because he didn't buy it from him. He's like, what would you do? I said, I wouldn't buy a damn thing from him. Nothing. I wouldn't want him to come by my shop. No. And he's like, well, I got a really good Matco guy. He's cool. He comes by all the time. I said, dude, the tools is only as good as the person you sell them. Yep. You know, that sold them to you. Prime example, you remember what happened with the old Matco dealer yeah. that wouldn't warranty a ratchet? And then Hamilton had to go through everything here and pick Matcos out and replace them. Yes, yeah. so I mean, that was, uh, and now got a good Matco guy around here. Michael's a great dude. He takes care of everything like he's supposed to. And, but there's dealers around here that they're the same thing. That, uh, I mean, there's one of the Matco guys just south of here is like that. He don't want out stuff that you buy from him. And there's a couple snap, or there we got one snap-on guy around here that don't want to out stuff that mm. you didn't buy from him. I think a lot of those guys, those dealers, forget if they was on the other side, yeah, how they would feel, you know. I get guys like right, right now the territory next to us over in Ripley, 25, 30 minutes down the road. They don't have a dealer right now. Michael brings me some stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, I got the ratchet back from Michael now. Uh, and then uh, I got a bunch of them guys that come to meet me or they leave the tools at shops and yeah. I swap them out for them. I mean, it's not their fault they ain't got a dealer, mm -hmm. you know? Well, you know, when a guy buys a snap-on tool in his mind, he's like, I'll never have to buy it again unless somebody steals it or I lose it. Yep. You know? And no. I think it's pretty crappy that those dealers do that. And I understand that they may not want to, like you, you know, yeah, this I mean, right here, this is the only one you got on the truck. So a guy comes in here and you're going to have to warrant it out. So you can take it out of your inventory and then the next guy may come on here and want to buy that and you ain't got it. Yeah. I understand and, that. And I've told a lot of them that. That's like, I mean, if somebody needs to warranty these pliers out here, I got a bunch of these on the truck. We're going to swap them out, no problem mm -hmm. at all. Uh, but if it's my last set of them, order them. Then I at least order, order them, them, you know, or offer they, to do it. Yeah. And. I've never had anybody get upset with me like, why don't you just give me them? Well, I, I mean, what That's if I go to my one, next guy that yeah. I see every week needs them, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put my guys out for somebody that I don't know that's not a customer of mine, uh, for sure. And I think but, most guys would understand that, but just flat out refusing. Yeah. Like, you've warranty tools that I didn't buy from you that I bought yeah. from two snap-on dealers before, and that's yeah. been a long time, you know? There's been a lot of snap-on dealers in this route. And, you know, one of them was a ratchet. You didn't have the guts for it, and you swapped it out with a brand new one, mm -hmm. you know. And everybody's like, "Man, my dealer would never do that for me." I'm like, "Shit, I wouldn't buy it from that guy." I, mean, I don't know why it don't cost them. 
people say, well, it costs me money. For a week or two, I mean, if I wanted this ratchet out with you, yes, I'm out of that money. Mm -hmm. Until I send it back to Snap-on, then they give me my money back. So technically, no, you're not out of the money. Uh, they must be in areas where it's not a lot of competition. Because if you're going to survive here, oh, yeah, you got to be good to make it here. Yeah. Because, like... You know, everybody was doubting Michael was going to be able to make it, you know, when he come in larger. because he had such a bad hole yeah. to fill, you know, and he pulled out of it. But, yeah, like, man, I wouldn't want to be a tool truck to try to, like, I wouldn't, there's no way in hell I would buy a Cornwell truck or something and try to come in here and compete with you and Michael because... Oh yeah, it, it, man! Y'all, y'all got truck, some people to buy tool truck tools that I wouldn't have never thought. If a third thought. truck came in, it'd be it'd be bad on a, a third truck to come in. Yeah, it would and, be. Uh, yeah. And uh, everybody's like, "Well, Joe, yeah, Joe's not. You can't really count Joe." No, nah, well, Joe don't run a route like me and Michael do. Mm -hmm. Joe can go anywhere he wants to go because he's independent. He don't have yeah. to answer to nobody by anything. He's independent. He can go here. He can go there. And Joe goes. Three hours south of here. Yeah, he's, he's I mean, he a, makes he, he a loop. huge loop, but he hits the shops that uh, he's not gonna hit your tire shops up here. They got mm -hmm. three guys working up there. Yeah, he's not hitting them. He's gonna go to Cheapo to the tag place where they got fifteen mechanics there. Yeah, and I mean it works out for him. No, but I Joe, wouldn't want to be tied to this area though, where I had to fight with you and Michael to survive. Cause man, it'd be tough. Yeah. Bad tough. Yeah. Cause there's a lot of people left a lot of comments on the Snap-on videos and the Matco videos. Like, man, you got the best dealers of anybody ever. I'm like, they gotta be. Like, that's what because well, even, when you got a strong dealer, he's gonna eat everybody up. Well, even like, in like Russellville, Alabama, I run all the way over to Russellville. Uh, there's a Matt guy over there that was, or he was. He's out now. He's that's a, he's like 75 year old. He got 300 rental properties. And he he bought a Mack truck because he was bored. Holy! I crap. wouldn't be running no tool truck because I'm bored. <laughs> this is a dang take up job. Fishing. Yeah. <laughs> They've got 300 rental properties. I wouldn't be worrying about selling those dang yeah, tools. No. I'd be like, y'all need me, I'll be on the pontoon. Yeah, but a cold one. Absolutely. 7.30 in the morning. And, uh, but yeah, but now there's a new Matco guy over there and he's already quit running Russell. He's running out away from Russell. But yeah. It's just me and Russell. But I've been there for five years, and everybody's been loyal to me. Mm. And I, I mean, I done flooded the market with everything over I there. I think a lot of these dealers let it go to their head that I sell Snap-on or I sell Matco, and they're the king, and can't nobody touch me. And they don't yeah. want to take care of their customers. It ain't gonna take but one good dealer to come in. That dude be mm -hmm. sucking eggs, buddy. Yeah. He'll be wondering why the hell he's going bankrupt. Yep. Because <clears throat> people will say what they want to. Tool truck tools. Man, you talked about this this morning earlier. They're expensive. And you guys know people can go to Harbor Freight or yeah. Sears Home Depot, or Home Depot or, or wherever, you know, and, and get tools. So that's why the service has to be up to par. And I mean, you, know. you heard me say it before, I'm I'm not in the tool sales business. I'm in the customer service business, and yeah. I just happen to be selling tools. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, I mean. I tell everybody that, but I mean, I do everything I can to help everybody. That's why Snap On should have you as like their. Like after they get through with the snap-on training, and then they bump down to learning them how them. to run a truck, they should put them with you to come learn how to take care of customers. Weeks. Yeah, they can send me a check. And they'll be I'll like, "Wow, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're we're retaining we're retaining people." Yeah, so. they can send me a check and come ride with me. I'll be all right. <laughs> Bring an air conditioner, huh? Yeah, I think the fan just kicked on. I yeah. got the air conditioner shut off, so it's still hot up in this song. Absolutely. Again. Well, all right, guys. Well, we're going to get the new brushless ratchet and the blue pry bar set with the three screwdrivers in it. And uh, that's going to be it. But like always, thanks for hanging out with us on this Friday. It's hot, hot, and hotter. It's almost cold beer time. Yep. And I'm ready for it. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take a finger. Click that button. It's free. See ya. See ya.